Hi everyone, this is Arun. Welcome back to another video on the tutorial series. Today, I wanted to show you how you can create an analysis with a column selector and view selector options. All right, I'm logged into the application. I'm in the BI catalog area. So let me go ahead and create a new analysis. Okay, let's pick payables, transactions, real time. So we're gonna just select one or two columns just to get started. So let's say we need invoice, now we need supplier. So let's go ahead and select supplier name. Where is supplier name? supply name okay um you know what that doesn't make sense let's select invoice type okay so let's go ahead and select invoice type name we need one more column so let's do invoice amount all right that's all we need it's gonna be pretty simple Click on results tab. And you can see we have invoice type um, and invoice amount associated with each invoice type. All right, the magic. So let's click on the view options. And let's click on other views. Click on column selector. All right, so you have the column selector here. I'm gonna move it up here. Okay, click on edit and here I'm going to select, okay, for which column do you want multiple options? So I'm going to say column one include selector. So we already have one option which is invoice type name. Let's go in and select a few other types. So let's go into invoice details, general information. Let's see what we can pick. Um, maybe payment type or payment terms, maybe. Let's see what we have. So we have payment terms name. Let's do that. So that's selected now. See if there is some of the column that we can use. Okay, let's do invoice source. Okay, so we have given the user two options, uh, sorry, three options, invoice type name and payment terms name and invoice source name, okay? And the user will be able to select one of these values and the idea is based on the, what the user selects, the uh, analysis is going to change. The numbers are going to change based on selection. Okay, click on done. All right, so right now we have invoice type name. You can see credit memo, debit memo, and the other types and the corresponding invoice amount. Let's change this to payment terms name. And you can see that now the analysis changed based on the, what user selected. Let's change invoice source name. And you can see, you know, these are all the sources and these are all the invoice amounts associated with those sources. So it's pretty easy to do that. Um, and the next thing I wanted to show you is how to create a view selector. So let's say you want to switch between table view and graphical view, um, how to do that. So let's go into the view option and other views and click on view selector. Uh, before we do that, we also need to create a new view. So we have a tabular view. Let's go ahead and create a um, graphical view. Um, bar chart is fine. I'm gonna go with horizontal bar chart. All right, so we have the horizontal bar chart. Um, let's go ahead and move this up. So I'm gonna move this up here. Type, and I'm gonna move this to the right, sorry, um, 
I need like more this to here. Okay, so I have my two views. One is <clears throat> the graphical view, one is the uh, tabular view. And this is the view selector. So let's go ahead and edit the view selector. And I'm gonna say, okay, what are the different options you wanna see? Table and graph, right? So you have the two options and you can select from one of these. If I select, it's gonna show me the graphical view. If you're gonna select the table, it's gonna give you the table. So what, um, so I'm gonna say, move the graph up, okay? All right, click on done. Now you have the uh, graphical view and the table view here. Now we can delete these. All right, I'm gonna, so now you have invoice source name and viewers graph, change it to table. You can see for the same uh, column selector, you have the tabular view. Now let's change this to invoice payment terms name maybe. And you can see the data here. Let me change this to graph and you can see graphical view. All right, let me move this here. So it's uh, easy to see. Okay, let's change uh, this to invoice type name. And you can see the different data uh, and table. All right, let's save this. I'm going to say CV selector. Click OK. Let's go to catalog. So this is the CV selector analysis we just created. And you can see the selector, column selector. So let me change this to payment terms name. And you can see the data here. Let me change this to table. And the view changes to a table view. All right, that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope this was helpful. Um, hopefully in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, create a dashboard. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Uh, happy to answer any of your questions. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos on Oracle ERP Cloud and Oracle EPM, consider subscribing. You will have a good weekend. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.